Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another KSP video. This time actually I uh, made my own little thing, I call this the Space Jumper. This is actually pretty cool, so I've been testing it for like the past week, I haven't had much time, but today since I got tomorrow off, I've been sitting at this for like around three hours. Now the whole principle of this is to shoot this thing at space and then grab one of my uh, darling curvals, go EVA, EVA, and uh, jump out into space and jump into my small little flight or you can say portable lander and uh, land on the runway of course this is a sort of uh, challenge for you guys if you guys are bored and would like to give this a go build something shoot it into the air make a small little, small little landing plane with as you see nothing else except the bare essentials i made the, the cool batteries thing it sort of lights up the back that's really cool and uh, the seat of course you got my command pod which i pretty much used for the sas but there's really no point once you do use such a small thing and of course four wheels now keep in mind that you gotta land this below 60 meters per second otherwise you'll burst the tires so that's uh, not really such a big challenge you're pretty much guaranteed to land it below 60 but it's good you know in case for you guys that are just getting the hang hang of this game it's it's a pretty cool thing to to do uh, the links of course are uh, below in the description you can download it just click download uh, give it a rating if you guys want to give it a rating and uh, land the damn thing back on the actual runway and uh, it's, it's quite a lot of fun so give it a go anyways let's uh, speed things up and uh, let, let's see where we get to I've been I think at this I don't know how many hours how many hours have I been going at this um, it's like 11 now I think I've been going at this for three hours I like around three hours to perfect it. I started off with a completely different design, so I ended up with this. It's again completely different design. But it seems to be the most effective. Make sure, of course, to burn all the way till the end to get the challenge correctly. And give it a go. Try to land this or make your own. It's pretty interesting. Make your own and, and see if you can land it. It's uh, surprisingly harder than, than you think. So, uh, yeah. Surprisingly very harder than you think, so... Uh, it was a lot of fun getting getting this done. It really ticked me off, but I did I did finally get it done. So uh, let's go. You gotta go all the way up, of course. You gotta go all the way up to the top part. So you can say this is sort of if you in case if you're interested for the challenge. This is the challenge part. You can only go EVA outside. So let's go back in. Let's release the tanks. Away they go. Okay, let's grab one guy. Space. Oh crap, I put him back in. Space or lighting. Okay, down we go. I don't know if you guys have been looking at my tutorial playlist, but in case you have, let me know in case I'm missing a tutorial or you'd like me to do another one or a specific one for something. So that'd be something cool. Because I haven't done one in a while. I'm, I don't know what else I could do. Do let me know. So this is pretty much it. We are coming in for the landing. We do have full fuel here. Oh, yeah, I did forget to stick the, uh, the tanks there. But whatever. This is mainly used not even for the fuel. This is just used to hold the actual tanks in place. So forget about that this is pretty much it and uh, we release of course our ship down it goes slowly but gradually into the atmosphere okay of course our space center is there so let's try to align ourselves with the center at least to try to get something. Let's see how we go. 40,000. We should hit atmosphere now, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. We're going to try to recover as much altitude as possible. It's very, very twitchy. But yeah, it's pretty cool. 
So we have made it. We're going to speed things up a bit now. This is going to take a little bit of a while. So uh, we're going to get closer and closer as much as possible. Uh, this is pretty much a time game now. You just got to keep your altitude and your descent at sort of uh, an equal level. You know, you don't want to go too steep, too down. You don't want to go too steep, too up, so you lose all the speed. So you got to have sort of balancing game, so you do get as far as possible with this. So, yeah. So now we're on the last three kilometer stretch. We are so far so good. We're just going to be lining up now to the runway. I wish I wish they actually had transponders. That'd be pretty cool that you can line up properly. Actually, I wish they had a lot of stuff, but never mind. We're lining up. Increasing our descent. The essay is completely useless, doesn't help you out at all. And there we have there we have it on a landing even cooler actually for the uh, challenge if you can land between the uh, between the two uh, cranes you gotta fly between the two cra cranes and then land in here that'd be pretty cool so this is it sort of easy challenge and a cool thing as well this is my space jumper show me yours there's a lot of cool things that you can do in terms of a space jump to class to classify it as a space jump of course you gotta get your rocket in space and you gotta have a small aircraft that you can attach to it the aircraft gotta land and of course the uh, space ship gotta obviously land as well mine had a crap load of parachutes if you noticed i hope you guys enjoyed it and take care see ya